Hi there, I'm Ellie Newton and I'm going to teach you how to upcycle terracotta pots today. You'll need some Malibu mineral paint and a primer sealer just to seal the pots. So there's no need for you to go out and buy new expensive pots to keep your garden updated. All you need to do is add your own special touches with paint and transfers in this case and you can have something good enough to give away as gifts, even sell it if you like, or just make your garden look fabulous. Okay, now that the uh, primer block, stain block is dry, the Malibu primer and stain block is dry, I am going to apply our Malibu mineral paint. The colour is called Soft Serve. So this just paints straight on over. And the only thing I will say, I'm going to do in and out, maybe just try and keep the brush marks in the same direction so I'm gonna go round the pot it's beautiful beautiful creamy color which really comes up against the white we are back it's the next day so I let the paint cure overnight they look beautiful so all three of them are done if I put it up against some white paper, you might get a bit more idea of the colour. So it's beautiful, it's a soft serve colour. So this is the Malibu paint. Um, I love it. It's looking beautiful. So now I'm going to add the transfers. So while I was off camera last night, I just had a look at the transfers. So these are the small redesigned transfers. They come in a pack of three. We've got lots of them at the moment at our online store. We've got about, in total, of redesign uh, decor transfers, probably about 120 different designs. These are small ones, they're only $28. Really versatile because you just cut out around the ones that you want to use. So, um, I have decided on which ones I'm going to use. I'm, I'll cut around them and you can just be really rough with your cutting out and apply them to the Malibu paint. So when I've got it in basically the right position, I think that's pretty good. See that little leaf bit there hopefully will go up the edge. So um, I'm gonna take the backing paper off Peels off very carefully, and then apply it onto where I want it to go on the. It's a bit windy outside today, <laughs> so I just place it on, smooth it down. It's sticky, so it will self-stick on there. Hopefully it's reasonably straight. I'm doing this back to front. And then all we do is grab the little scraper that came in the pack. It's basically just a little like a little ice cream stick. And we're going to scrape it on. And what happens is, once it starts transferring, it changes colour, it goes all washed out looking and grey.
So it's just scraping motion. You can see, see how lovely it's going to look. Sometimes you need to tape it on, but I can hold this on with my finger. You just don't want it to move. And at this stage it doesn't need taping. I think the pink in that magnolia is going to look lovely. Stand out a bit more than the white will. So I don't know if you can see, but it's starting to go all cloudy there, so it is attaching. It's good for the arm muscles. Sometimes I lift it up just to have a little peek, make sure it is working. Oh god, look at that. That's incredible. Incredible. And it's blowing everything around. So, you do have to wait at least 24 hours for the paint to cure. The longer the better. Um, I have heard of uh, some, if you put it straight on, you know, just when the paint's touch dry, um, it can cause the uh, transfer not to apply correctly and it'll lift the paint off with it. When you take the paper off after it's been applied, so it's a good idea to at least wait 24 hours. I was too excited. I actually did want to do it yesterday, but I thought, no. I better not muck it up seeing I'm videoing the whole process. But these transfers are just amazing. Alright, they've got the local police being called out. We're just right um, actually near the hospital down here in Nelson. And the main road into town is right behind us. come back on itself. Hopefully I can resurrect that. May not be able to. Yeah, if I can just try and squash that down somehow. Well, that'll be alright. Don't know about that one, no. Just keep persevering with it. That's what happens when you're mucking around with it. Seems all right. That one there's just got to be pressed down a wee bit. Voila! How is that? Mate, that is so gorgeous. So what I'm going to do now is just with a paper towel actually, kind of burnish it. So make sure there's no air bubbles. But it's all pushed down nice and hard. Oh my goodness.
Oh my gosh, I just really loved doing this upcycle. It was fantastic and they have turned out so well. I haven't they? Yeah, awesome. So using the mineral paint, using the primer stain block underneath it and applying a transfer and then sealing it with Newton's varnish. It's as easy as that. Such good fun. Make a beautiful gift. I'm going to keep these myself. Um, remember all this, these techniques can be applied to your furniture upcycles using Malibu paint. You can use the primer. It's particularly good when you're painting over dark colours. So it'll give you better coverage, especially when you're painting with light colours. So soft serve is one of our lighter colours, which is what I painted these in. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, and uh, if you've got any questions, you can always email me via the contact form at sales at newtonspaints.co.nz. If you want to see a bit more about uh, the Malibu mineral paint, you can go to ilovemalibu.co.nz, and all the other products are online at our online store. Have a lovely day.